Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. Welcome to another episode of Bitcoin Tech Talk. This is a show where we um, talk about, you know, sort of the current news that's going on and what, what what's happened over here, the past week. Um, yeah, sorry about that. That was a little bit of feedback because I do keep watch over who's actually watching and so on. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about what's been going on. Let me share my screen with you and... Um, and we will get started. All right, let's start right now. All right, so as always, you can um, uh, you know sign up for my newsletter uh, in the show notes below. Um, this is uh, issue number 129. I, I've been doing this for a while now. Um, and here there, there's a bunch of stories that I found interesting over the past week. Um, but before I get to that, I want to remind you guys that uh, my book is available for order on Amazon uh, in the print edition and the Kindle edition. The Kindle edition did have some problems, but that's been fixed now by my publisher. Um, so it is now it, it should have everything. If there are problems, please let me know. All right, some other um, stuff. Uh, so programming blockchain. I only have one other one city schedule currently, and that is New York City in May. 16th and 17th it's a two-day seminar uh, going over all of this stuff it, uh, it, this is the fastest way to become a bitcoin developer um, is by taking this course and learning all of the things that you need to learn in order to learn about um, the protocol level things in bitcoin um, i teach it over two days very intense class um, ask any of the alumni that have taken this it is not easy it's a very good uh, way to really intensely get it though. Uh, once again, the book is on Amazon. Uh, it currently has 17 reviews and is number one is the number one new release in business finance. I'm not sure why it's business finance of all things, but it it, it is. And um, you know, um, I, I guess that's good. Um, apparently, I am ranked right now 23,270 in books. Uh, it's number two in e-commerce, number nine in web encryption, <laughs> number 10 in computer cryptography. I don't know how, how fine a grain you have to get in order to like actually have a ranking on some of that stuff. Anyway, uh, th those are a couple of things. Let's uh, get to the stories. Let's take a look at the first story I have, which is hash time lock uh, collateral contracts. Um, and these are sort of like loans that are based on particular collateral and apparently you can uh lock up ethereum for a bitcoin loan or something like that now um the exchange rates tend to fluctuate quite a bit between uh different cryptos so not sure how effective this will be but it's a it's a really interesting idea the idea that um that if you don't pay back a loan, then you know you you lose that particular collateral. This is um, this is something that has been going on in the Bitcoin talk forums for a long time. Uh, for example, um, you know at the very beginning, I think on the Bitcoin talk forums, there used to be uh, you know just people asking for money, and then it's like, okay, what, what how how are you gonna secure it? And they'd be like, oh, well, I'll give you my driver's license and social security number. Um, they borrow some number of bitcoins and not pay it back, and then the person that gave the loan is like, "Well, what the hell do I do with this driver's license and uh, social security number? I guess you can like sue them in small claims court or something like that." Uh, but the amounts just usually weren't um, good enough or big enough to like actually go and do something about it. Um, and then you know, as that market matured, um, pretty much anyone that asked for a loan immediately gets hey, um, in order to do this loan, I need, uh, you know, this much in Litecoin or some other coin in order for you, uh, for me to lend this out to you. And oftentimes the response would be, well, why would I um, ask for a loan if I, if I had collateral? And it's, uh, well, I, that's kind of how it works, right? Like if you, uh, nobody really trusts you on the internet. Uh, so in order to get a loan, you need to provide collateral. Banks more or less, work the same way they will only give you a mortgage if uh if you have assets to back up that mortgage um like the house for example so anyway that's the idea behind hash time lock collateral contracts i i, I would encourage you to look at it 
Um, it's uh, it's not got a bit number or anything, but it's uh, you know it's something that they've been working on apparently for a while. And the idea that you can borrow and lend funds um, is is pretty interesting. Um, and though you know, like to some degree, if you have some liquidity between chains and things like that, it's like mm, I don't know. I I, I mean, you might want to just like liquidate um in instead of doing a loan but if you think one one side's gonna go up or something then maybe not all right let's take a look at the next story um this is b version two of peer-to-peer -peer message transport protocol um and version one is called bip 151 and it was uh it was a way to make sure that the that you can have authenticated peers. Right now on the Bitcoin network, you just connect to anybody. There's no authentication whatsoever. It's just all done out in the clear. Um, and that's kind of the idea, right? Like you can you can have peer every every peer you have no idea anything about, and um, and you just sort of like um, uh, don't trust. You verify everything that they say. Um, there, there is some uh, usefulness to having verification for an end peer, though. So, uh, especially for sort of like man in the middle attacks and things like that. Um, so, as a as a way to make sure that you, can, you don't get man in the middle, uh, they have this whole handshake and uh, encrypted uh, delivery of the payloads that happen in a network message. Um, and you know, I, I think version one had some problems, so Jonah Schnelli has uh, graciously made a second version. Um, this will probably get a, another bit number pretty soon, but it's the idea is to have some sort of um, authenticated or encrypted communication so you don't get metal. All right, third story here. This is, are you currently contributing to Bitcoin Core or other crypto ecosystem projects for free in your off time? We'd like to pay you to do it full time. If interested, DM SQ Crypto and follow for updates on our progress. Thank you. Um, the big thing to note here is that this is Jack Dorsey. This is the CEO of Twitter who has a couple of companies, Square being one of them. Uh, but uh, Square's Cash App, of course, allows you to buy Bitcoin. Anyway, he wanted to, if, if you read this whole thread, he wanted to support the ecosystem. And the way he's doing it is funding developers. So if you are a developer, um, and there's a pretty good chance that you are if you are watching this show um, and following me on Twitter, there's probably at least a decent chance. Um, apply for this, right? DM, DM SQ Crypto and tell them what you're doing and see if you can get funded because this is how you can make progress. It's a great way to bootstrap your experience. Um, really, really good idea. Uh, applause to Jack uh, and of course the you know, Blockstream and Chain Code Labs for leading the way in doing all of that. All right, a few lightning stories. Um, we have uh, Loop. Um, this is a a uh, something from uh, Lightning Labs. Alex Bosworth and Brian Vu wrote this thing. It's a non-custodial service that makes it easier for people to receive funds on Lightning. And uh, and this is um, uh, this initial release focuses on the ability for people to receive with what we call a loop out. Lightning loop out allows users to increase their receiving capacity by offloading their funds from the network while keeping channels open. So in other words, your channel capacity might be, you know, like one Bitcoin. Well, let's just use round numbers, one Bitcoin. And uh, as, as you get close to that full Bitcoin uh, of receiving, then you have to close it and open a new one with another Bitcoin so that you can receive some more. What this allows is for you to loop that out. Um, and the way uh, it works is you know, more detailed here, but uh, the idea that you can just sort of like refresh the channel and get it in an off, uh, you know, off, on, off uh, lightning transaction, uh, offloading that fund to an on-chain transaction while still keeping that channel open uh, is a really, really cool idea. Um, later on, they talk about a loop in, which is the opposite. If you've sort of like spent a ton of money, then you can sort of reload that channel uh, somehow using their service. Um, 
it's uh, it's kind of like a reloadable debit card or something like that. I, I, I imagine that's uh, that's the use case that they're thinking. Anyway, the code is over here. Uh, it's uh, zero point one alpha, and it's uh, you know it's only ha it only has one release. But oh my goodness, look at all of the different uh, you know types that you can like get get it on. Um, and the idea I think here is that you can have a ton of uh, different hardware that you can run this stuff on, and you know you you can have basically a full lightning node on uh, you know all sorts of little hardware. So they they want to make sure that they support you know AMD sixty four, ARM v six, ARM v seven, MIPS sixty four, PPC sixty four, um, and so on. So. Yeah, I mean, they they even support the x86 architecture, which is quite impressive. All right, uh, this one is kind of near and dear to my heart because I did, I, I have been using the electric bikes that are that have been pretty popular during South by Southwest. I like them better than the scooters because, um, first of all, they're bigger and they feel safer, and you know you don't like have to keep balance on the thing. Um, whereas, you know, riding a bike, uh, most people know how to ride a bike. Um, but this is a, uh, a really interesting project where you can have a lightning payable e-bike. So instead of, you know, your money going to jump or, you know, one of these, uh, you know, like uh, portable scooter vendors or whatever, um, this guy made this thing so that you can pay with Lightning to use his bike, uh, you know, in a, a little bit. There's even like a little demo and everything else, um, and it's uh, and it works in such a way as to uh, sign like a new Lightning transaction every minute or so. It's a, it's really a very clever use case and like combining a bunch of tech that we already know. Uh, I, I don't know who LE Blitzstick is, but uh, if you are making a startup, please call me because <laughs> I think this is really cool. And uh, I, I'd love to see something like that uh, take place. Uh, final story, which I forgot to bring up beforehand. This is the top 100 ch exchanges by reported volume. And uh, there was a report uh, uh, this week about how most of the volume is fake. And this is the actual raw data behind this. Um, and it is uh, expected volume divided by reported volume. Uh, really interesting stuff. Uh, apparently, most of the volume out there is actually really, really um, fake. It's, it's wash trading or whatever. Um, and you know uh, something to think about when you're when you're seeing a lot of that stuff. Um, yeah, so I, I, I would uh, I would encourage you to uh, look into the raw numbers and play with it if you are um, interested in you know looking at the details of something like this. So um, yeah, that that's uh, pretty much it for uh, Bitcoin Tech Talk this week. I really don't see any uh, questions in the live chat. Um, let me just stop sh stop sharing the screen and, uh, and go back to camera here. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, you know, there, there's a bunch of stuff going on with Lightning. I, I'd love to see more of the, you know, Lightning pay bikes or something like that. Um, would suck though if you run out of uh, money in your channel and then you suddenly can't use the bike anymore and you're in the middle of traffic or something like that. So there, there are a few usability things that you need to make sure that uh, you have beforehand, just like, okay, is there enough capacity to make sure that, uh, you know, so, so, such and such amount is done? Uh, maybe you don't do it on a per minute basis. Maybe you do it on like a 10 minute. Sort of like uh, rentals like that. Uh, I, I would love that for like power tools or stuff that like people don't use all the time, like lawnmowers or something like that. Especially if it could get like delivered to you, and you know you can go mow your lawn, and then you don't need that lawnmower anymore, right? Like we're uh, you know snowblower out in the northeast or whatever. It's uh, it's amazing how. Um, how consumption uh, or how consumptive that ends up becoming. So 
anyway uh yeah i i i am going to be oh one, one more thing that i want to share let me see if i can share that screen again um i want to make sure that if you are in boston uh there is a meetup let me see yeah so this is the meetup uh hosted by the mit bitcoin club and this is going to be, uh, um, you know, I'm going to do a book signing there. I'm also going to give a talk. It looks like it's going to be on Schnorr signatures. Um, but yeah, it's it's going to be um, at MIT Room 1-190 tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And, uh, and yeah, I, I think my publisher may be donating some books. I'm not really sure. Um, but O'Reilly does have an office out in Boston, so at least a couple of my editors will be out there. Anyway, uh, if you are in Boston tomorrow night um, and you want to come see um, this, this is the event that I would encourage you to do. And once again, I want to point out that my book is available on Amazon and that my course in New York is May 16th and 17th. You can sign up today. Anyway, I uh, hope all of that helps you. Uh, whoa, huh. How do I find in my lightning node cert and macaroon? You're, it depends on what kind of node you have, but there's usually a command for it. And you, you'll need to authenticate first. Anyway, hope that helps you. Uh, this song is done. Wait, I, I, did, I said that with that on the screen. This song is done.